What do we have here? I've got an exploding die pack from the uh, bank. $1,000 of $10 bills. If you robbed a bank, why would you take tens? <laughs> <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to sell my exploding die pack of $10 bills. I would like to get $500 for it, but I would take $473 because three just ends with a smile. <laughs> And how did you get this? A buddy of mine's in banking. Bank robbing? No, okay. he's just, he just runs the bank. Why wasn't this ever shipped back to the Federal Reserve? I don't know. A few holes in your story, man. I hope you know a good lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> the way they work is once they walk out the building, there's a little set-off strip right at the door. OK. After they go out, they're supposed to go off in 10 seconds. It's exploding die pack. It gets all over their clothes, all over their hands, all over the other money, and it's rendered useless. They can't use it anymore. I imagine the only people who really ever see these things is maybe a cashier, a few people at a bank, someone who works at the Federal Reserve, and bank robbers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're real rare. Die packs are used in most U.S. banks nowadays because it's pretty hard to claim you're innocent when you're covered head to toe and die. <laughs> I think there's a few different types of devices they use. They actually make a pack now with a transmitter in it. So even if you get a few blocks from the bank, they can just keep on following you all over town until they get to your house. Now that I didn't know that. I guess they're actual $10 bills they cut apart. It wouldn't surprise me if for some reason or the other, this is owned by the Federal Reserve. I'm assuming it's legal to buy this die pack. But then again, when you're dealing with the feds, you better be certain. How much you want for it? I'd like 500. I have never seen one of these things before. I am sure there are some rules and regulations, if not laws, on it. So do you mind if I call somebody in, have them come check it out? I think that's fair. OK. Well, I'm hoping whoever comes in to look at it says it's a real rare item that is legal to own and it's worth a lot of money. Hey, Rick. Mark. How you doing? You guys normally call me down here when they've got something that's a little odd or they want some more information on. So what do we got? We have the die pack thing you get in the bank when you rob it. Well, these things were developed back in the 1990s. If you were being robbed, you were supposed to slip it in with all the other bills. It would blow out this ink that dyed your skin, it dyed the bills, it dyed everything. When that thing goes off, you're either blue or red or whatever color, and so is all the money. So what is your concern with this? Are they legal to own? Um. Yeah. You're fine with them. In this case, these were actually not made by the Federal Reserve. They were made by a private company. And the private company would cut out enough of the bill so that you have less than 20% left. They're basically just trash paper at this point. What you have here is a curiosity. I understand. Thanks, man. Good to see you. Now that I know it's legal for me to buy, I'm interested. Curiosities like this create buzz, and they get people in my shop. How much do you want for them? You know, the number that pops into my head is 473. Were you dreaming when you came up with that number? No, I just think it sounds good. Just when you end it in a three, 473, you end it with a smile. I'm not smiling. I mean, it's, it's a tough sell item. It, it really is, and it's going to take a while. I will give you 100 bucks for it. I mean, the problem is it's just a curiosity. How about 300 bucks? I'll give you 150 bucks. Uh, if you market it right, I think you get quite a bit more money for $200. I'll tell you what, I'll go 175. I won't go a penny more. I mean, that's, I feel as if I'm giving you a fair price for it. OK. All right. Write him up, chump. I was shocked that I didn't get more than $175. I thought I was a better negotiator. Wow. This thing is nice. This is a cast me out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.